Hey guys and welcome to the show Marat and today we're having a look at the stability in the endorphin range especially the endorphin speed 2. Now what we're going to look at here is both shoes while I run in them to see actually how much I pronate in them. Now the midsoles in both of these shoes are exactly the same. The thing that signifies the difference is the plate. So you have a nylon plate in the speed and you have a carbon plate in the pro. Look at the speed first, okay? So just to explain pronation to people. So what pronation is, is when your ankle collapses in over your arch. So we're gonna roll through the video here in slow motion and you can see every time I hit the ground on both sides, left and right, I pronate it and it's quite noticeable. Um, I can feel it even when I walk in these shoes, I can feel myself collapse in. Now I'm a mild pronator, I don't over pronate, but I do pronate. See in the Pro, even though the midsole is exactly the same in both shoes, you can see in the Pro, it's not quite as evident, the pronation. Put that down to the carbon plate. The carbon plate being stiffer is giving you a more secure platform. So what we're looking at with both shoes is a slightly more stable ride in the Pro, slightly softer ride in the Speed. Now, the Speed is known to be softer, but when I have both shoes on my feet, I can't really tell the difference. But when I look at these two videos and compare them with each other, I can see a difference in the way the mechanics work for me. Now going forward, I'm using the speed for a small bit of uh, longer racing and tempo runs and that kind of stuff, whereas I'm just using the Pro prim primarily for racing. Now, I'm not using either shoe as an everyday shoe. Now I know people are using the speed as an everyday shoe, but I would say you'd need to be a fully neutral runner to be using the speed as an everyday shoe. To sum it up, these shoes are not designed to be stability shoes. These shoes are designed to be performance shoes. And at the end of the day, you can basically wear whatever you want when you're trying to run fast. Whatever helps you to run fast, that's what it's all about. It's when you're doing those mucky miles, those long slow runs, those long tempo runs where you might be a little bit more conscious about whether you're pronate or not. So that's the stability test for the Endorphin Speed 2, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Any feedback down below in the comments, like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Take care, and we'll see you soon.